Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life in the Mundane and today I want to show you our game closet and how we kind of did an overhaul of all of our board games and how we have it organized now and just hopefully give you a few tips on how you can conquer the clutter in your home too. So let's get started. So first things first, um, there are just, we are big board game family, we love games and uh but they were kind of taking over our house they were either not being played because they were not easily accessible or we had lost pieces broken games missing things and so we would pull it out and then it would be super frustrating when we went to go play it so i knew it was time for a complete overhaul and so i kind of want to walk you through the steps of how we did that and then show you an up close personal tour um, to give you a few ideas on how you can store your items so the first step is to jump in and just pull everything out at once. Take all the board games, whether you have them all in one closet like I do, or whether you have them all over your house. Grab them all, bring them all into one central location. Um, so uh, my husband and I did this during nap time. We uh, pulled out all the games in one location and just started uh, going through them and making sure that all the pieces were there. Um, if the pieces were not and it was crucial pieces, then we decided to have to get rid of it. If it was something that was maybe missing just, you know, one uh, playing piece or, you know, the instruction booklet or something like that, then we would decide if we wanted to keep it or pass it on. After we'd gone through the initial thing just to figure out what was there, then we took our games and sorted them by categories. We sorted them by kid-friendly category, um, classic games, so some of those would overlap a little bit, but if it was a classic game, it went in there. Um, party games that you usually play with a larger group of people. Um, and then those that were strategy board games. Um, my husband has a ton of those. And then card games, dice games, things like that. You get the idea, but just like items, gathering to them together. And it really helps you to get a visual to see all of it in one spot. Um, because that was what was shocking to me was how many we had and how many we had that we'd never played. We also made a stack of games that we had never played before. Nobody in our family had played before. And that was shocking to see. And it was, we, we both came to the conclusion that if we were going to own this many games, that was not a problem. I love having board games around the house for my kids, but if we were going to own this many games, we needed to make sure that we were actually playing them. So, um, after we sorted through the categories, then we went into the next step which was deciding what we were gonna keep and what we were gonna get rid of. We ended up getting rid of two big Rubbermaid containers full of games um, that I'm taking to our local homeschool uh, used curriculum sale and going to pass on to someone else. Um, so I was excited to kind of get some of that out. These were games that either we decided that just weren't for us or maybe we had played once or twice, but really after that they kind of lost their appeal to us. Maybe they were too old or too young for our kids. Um, or more commonly, we had duplicates that I had bought over the years. So um, these are the, just the kind of things that we went through and just weeded out initially. Okay, once you're down to your final pick, your final cut, then it's time to find a centralized location to put your games. Preferably something that is just accessible enough depending on your kids' ages, uh, for them to be able to get into. But do take it into mind um, how old your kids are. So for us, our um, little, little ones have zero access to this closet. Um, that's really important because they would just dump everything out. Our older kids are definitely have this accessible to them and we felt like they were old enough to take responsibility to even start getting games out themselves. Um, but we did create a little checkout system. I've got a little clipboard. Um, it's just really, really simple line of what board game did you take out and who checked it out. And then they just check it back in when they're done. Sort of like a library system. And the idea with this is not to be not be trusting of them or anything, but the idea was I wanted them to learn to take responsibility. One thing that I learned actually last year at our homeschool convention um, was they were talking about how we need to set expectations for our kids. We need to train them in that expectation of what we want out of it, and then we need to hold them accountable. And so this is one of the ways that I am doing that with my kids, is I have shown them the proper way to take care of board games over the years, and then did a refresher course before we kind of started this. Um, went over what I expect for you to do, how we can take care of the pieces, to not bend up the cards, to make, every, make sure everything ends up back in its box, and make sure that it ends up back on the shelf 
the way um, that it was before. And so now we're trying to just have them take some responsibility for that. So if you're the person that checked that game out, um, then you're the really one responsible to put it back in, even if everybody's playing. And this just gives them the opportunity to really take that responsibility. And I can praise those that are doing fantastic jobs. Those, when I pull out a game and I see maybe it hasn't been put back together properly, um, I can look back and see who checked it out last and just use it as a lesson to gently um, show them what the correct way would be to do it. Um, so also it gives me kind of a record of who's playing most often and uh, what kinds of games they're playing, what do they really love, what do they seem to not ever touch. Um, and so it gives me an idea when it comes back time around to come through and go through my games again to find out which ones we might need to get rid of. So that's just an idea. Um, a lot of times in the past, I've actually hung it like inside the closet door, but this year we are using this cool uh, shoe organizer for all of our little games. So I just have a little spot um, next to the, in the closet for the clipboard to go and they just pull it out and sign it and then they put it back. So now let's just look, uh, take a quick look at what's inside the closet. First of all, like I said, we got this over the door shoe organizer from Walmart that we put all of our small games in and we kind of did it such that the younger kids games are on the bottom and then as you go up they are older and older um, age group so that it's accessible to those that it's age appropriate for. Then at the top of the shelf again same concept those are my husband's games and then we've got our classics, uh, Pictionary, Cranium, Categories, Life, Monopoly and then we've got our party games in the center and part of the reason for that is because that's also games we play with our kids. Um, for boxes where we've boxes have gotten broken, like our dominoes, we just use a pencil box to replace that and to store things easily. We also have a marbles game, and we keep all the marbles in a pencil box as well to contain uh, those little pieces. Um, and then we go down to the kids shelf, and these are all of the the kid games we have up here. Then down on the bottom are some of the bigger odd shaped things, and then we also have a small box for miscellaneous game pieces that get lost. Thank you guys for joining. I hope that's helpful. I hope it inspires you to um, to organize your own stuff. I would love to hear how you guys have done it. Do you find a quick and easy trick? Um, I know some people don't have an entire closet des dedicated to it, so they like to use um, footstools and storage crates. There's so many great ideas on Pinterest out there. Um, and then if you guys want to know um, a few of the ideas of where we got some of our board games, some of our favorite family-friendly board games, I will drop um, a list below in the description. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. Um, I've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming up that I'm really excited about, and I would love to also hear any video ideas that you guys have. You can email me at lifeinthemundane at gmail.com, or you can just simply comment below or drop a message on Facebook. Um, love to talk to you guys that way as well, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!